Day one at the U.S. Darts Masters, Las Vegas, 16 players, eight of the PDC's best, taking on eight of North America's best. Would it be bombs away for Bully Boy, or would it be Jim Long Odds and the upset? Ando was on a mission to defend the title, but could a milkman deliver a huge shock? And we had MVG on the card, but would Big Daddy provide the big blow? Fireworks in Vegas, a 4th of July at the darts today on High Roller Radio. Yes, the PDC's traveling roadshow hits Las Vegas for the bright lights and the marquee. Players' faces and giant banners adorning the Mandalay Bay. Sin City, baby. World Series of Darts is back, tweeted Charlie Gray, the boss, and he knows a great event when he sees one. So does Luke Jones. Will there be an upset in the first round, he asked. Providing the poll, great question, I thought, but Aki Balboa was laughing out loud. How about this? There will not be any upsets in the U.S. Masters, he replied. American, Canadian players, they aren't good enough. Wow, the Rocky of darts pulling no punches. Rob Crosby, Leonard Gates, the most interesting to me, noted Swanee. Upset possible, he said. Speaking of Leonard Gates, did you know he used to be a pretty good baseball player? Even had his own trading card. We thank at Tom Sports Journal for tonight's schedule. There you see it, a jam-packed card. Eight matches for us on this Thursday, a tungsten treat. So, the stage all set for the 2019 North American Darts Championship and the U.S. Masters. A nice-looking venue right there, the Mandalay Bay. All right, here we go. Gerwin and Gary to start. Price v. Mawson, a Canadian who now resides in Florida. Florida. He started well, leveled at one here on tops. He then hit tops again in the third leg to break for 2-1. Big stage though, just what the Iceman likes. He stormed back with three on the spin. This fan loving the darts in the sixth leg, which Gezi would take on double 10, 4-2 now, but full credit to Mawson. He nailed double 16 to get things back on serve and then held to tie it up. But from there, Price upped his game, up the ante. Do you see three darts here? Because that is a maximum, folks. Unreal. He liked it. We got the roar. And then we got the handshakes. 6-4, your final. Gezi averaging 94.7 with four 180s. Rubbish, he said. Probably the worst I've played all year. On his potential second round clash with Gary Anderson, they haven't met since the Grand Slam. I'll play as I always play, he said. I won't be backing down. UK Open champ Nathan Aspinall greeting the fans on his walk-on. He then charged up the stairs on a mission, playing Sean Brenneman and absolutely dominating. Nice max here. He raced out to a 3-0 lead to leave this American fan applauding the effort, spending his 4th of July at the darts. You gotta love that. No fireworks in this one, however. After Brenneman got on the board, Aspinall landed the 121 checkout for 4-1, and then a 108 for 5-2. 6-2 your final. The Asp safely through to the quarterfinal now he averaged 98.2 with three 180s i'm happy he said i was nervous backstage but i played well it was a steady performance top singer in vegas right now the top act how about super chin playing to rave reviews a sold out show Fans loving the walk-on with Sweet Caroline. The Northern Irishman up against American Daniel Bagish and cruising. Great darts here, a second leg max. We got a fist pump on his way to 3-0. At 4 nothing. Bagish got on the board this way. The very nice 87 checkout, double 18 good. He says, that's what I can do. But one was all he could muster. Super Chin wins easily. 6-1 year final. He averaged 97. I was wary of him, Gurney said. I wasn't going to go lightly on him. The always smiling Jim Long enjoying his intro. Taking on Michael Smith tonight. Great start for the Canadian held in the opening leg. Bully Boy, though, took the next two, but we got six starts of magic from the Canuck in the fourth leg, the 181st, then the 63 finish, 
Back on serve, 2-2. Two, two. Fast forward now. Smith about to throw, leading 4-3. How about 5-3 on this? The spectacular 131. He went 51 tops, tops. Bully boy bullying the double top, said Shea House. Yes, indeed, that was stellar. It was close, but he gets there. Michael Smith, 6 Jim Long for your final. Had some decent shots, he said, but I had some dodgy scoring. I had a decent last leg, and I'm happy to get over the line. Think the best way to describe that performance, said Andrew Dugan, is job done from Michael Smith. He then added, Jim Long keeps showing small steps of progress on the big stage. Former world champ Rob Cross staring down Leonard Gates in our fifth fixture. He'd clean up the 25 for 3 nothing. In fact, he cleaned them all up. No contest this one. Gates never really in it. Voltage putting a charge in things. Averaging 101 in a 6 nothing whitewash. Our first ton plus average of the day. Felt a bit edgy up there, he admitted. But I scored well and I hit my doubles. I'm ready to play. Gary Anderson saluting the Vegas faithful ahead of his tilt with this guy, Elliot Milk, and the milkman was delivering early. After holding in the first leg, he broke in the second here on double 19. Great start, but the Flying Scotsman stormed back with three in a row for the lead as he adjusts his flights here. Milk got it back straight away for 3-3, three, three, but this was the key shot. Very next leg, Anderson with a 92 checkout to break pinpoint on double 20 this 180 would help seal it milk played well but the cream always rises to the top as they say six for your final ando averaging 97 and yes he will play gezi in the quarters tomorrow that is tasty i felt a bit nervous it's been a while he said on playing price tomorrow i love playing darts he said We'll see what happens. Peter Wright squaring off with Canadian Jeff Smith next. And with darts like these, the silencer broke to get them noisy in the first leg. He landed another 180 in the third leg, but even still fell behind 2-1. He found this, though, the 106 checkout, double 16 for 2-2. Two, two. Shots fired. Shout out to at support PDC. He was just camping with Jeff Smith in Canada. Now he's in Vegas cheering on his good friend. It got to 4-4, tight match. Ninth leg, snake bite says, I'm clutch on the 81. Wow. Bang, bang, 57-24. Smith had just hit the lot with a maximum, and Wright was pumped. Big reaction. We'd go to a decider, and yes, the sigh of relief here as Peter Wright gets over the line. That was a close one. 6-5, your final. Okay, our last match featured world number one, Michael Van Gerwen, versus U.S. number one, Darren Young. And despite shots like this, it was all MVG early. We got fist pumps and roars on his way to three-zip. A route... Well, no, because he missed darts at double for four on the trot, and the American pounced big time. A timely 105 checkout to get on the board and keep it close. He loved that one. Then he rallied. Another reaction here as he leveled things at four from 3-0 down to tie ball game. But from there, Mighty Mike took over. First, the 95 checkout as he climbed the ladder. Top's good. That's what he can do. And then handshakes. Quality tilt. 6-4. Michael wins it. So, there you have it. Day one of the U.S. Darts Masters complete the quarterfinals set for Friday. Aki was cocky, but he got it right. No upsets today on High Roller Radio.